Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video I'm gonna review two email marketing platforms it is Omnisend and MailChimp. I will dive into what is the main difference between these two platforms which platforms has more to offer and which one is actually the leader in my opinion and in the opinion of many people so stay tuned to know the truth and to know the outcome of the battle Omnisend versus MailChimp um, and uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of like a history thing that MailChimp uh, dominated the market um, in dominated the email marketing market for some time but a lot of things have changed and I think that we should look deeper in in those things that changed and what other platforms on the market um, have to offer for example Omnisent so um, first of all MailChimp uh, is a generic email marketing platform designed to be used by almost anyone it can do most of the things you'd expect it to uh, to do but it doesn't have specialist tools to help users with some specific uh, needs and primarily targeting small businesses mailchimp may not scale with your company's growth in the way you need it. Omnisend on the other hand is built to um, to help e-commerce users and in addition to the usual features required of an email marketing tool it also has tools designed specifically for building an audience and increasing sales such as a product picker that lets you pull products from a store and native discount codes. So uh, what's inside Omnisend and MailChimp? Both MailChimp and Omnisend include email templates and drag and drop composers, but there are two vital differences. So, actually, what I've noticed is that MailChimp's pre built templates are very basic visually, and the limited options can cause frustrations. Uh, if you want to create something special and unique. So, uh, again, uh, when you uh, choose some things, <clears throat> like, for example, uh, email templates, <clears throat> you will see that they are a bit different from what you have in uh, Omnisend and that's the greatest difference so they of course look different and you can actually see that so I would say that uh, I give my vote to Omnisend in the in the context of uh, templates and if I continue uh, my speech about um, uh, what's inside of these two platforms the second difference is that mailchimp restricts the majority of its templates uh, to its paid plans uh, leaving users of the free plan with a very limited number in comparison omnisend provides professionally made templates to all users even on the free plan plus omnisend's native integration allows you to pull products directly from your online store offers smart product recommendations as well as automatically include discount codes within the emails the next thing that i want to compare is list building and email capture so uh, they both <clears throat> offer forms and landing pages to help you grow your list size and forms can be used in multiple ways embedded on specific pages of your site pop-ups that appear after a certain amount of time uh, small sign-up boxes added to the header footer or in line of context such as blog posts and they both offer landing pages they are customizable with templates and a drag and drop builder and are an effective way of obtaining email addresses so uh, here uh, omnisend stands out is uh, in, in the way that uh, it has some gamification uh, forms like wheel of 
fortune, for example. Yeah, for example, like this one. So it is not only the great way to catch <clears throat> the customer's attention, but it's uh, more effective than uh, exit intent pop-ups for email subscriptions. So you can diversify your way of uh, dealing with customers. So another criteria is segmentation. So you need segmentation when your business grows and you have a lot of uh, a lot of members, a lot of customers, and you need to kind of uh, segment them to put into different categories. So in this case, I would say uh, that both platforms are pretty uh, the same and you can enjoy the same features on both platforms. So you can, of course, uh, segment them based on profile data, uh, campaign activity and purchases. Integrations. Omnisan integrates with over 60 trusted technology partners and has a dedicated app market. And there are integrations for everything from advertising and customer support to bagging store alerts and reviews. Uh, um, MailChimp offers more in this category. It claims that it has um, more than 200 apps and web services. So regardless of what tool you are using, there is a good chance that uh, it already integrates with MailChimp. Automation. So automation is actually way uh, better on Omniscient. Um, it allows you to incorporate additional channels uh, than just email, such as Facebook Messenger, SMS and push notifications. And Omniscient even suggests which channel to use in each automation uh, sequence. And uh, of course, with this functionality, you can create an advanced workflow using the channels that your audience engages with the most without the need to break everything into different sequences. You can also use conditional splits to tailor your workflow around your customer's demographics, engagement and shopping behavior. Omnisan offers up to 10 conditional splits per workflow, which not only simplifies the process, but also allows you to hyper-target your message. To create something similar in MailChimp, you would need to make several workflows. So here uh, I give the point to Omniscient and channels. Uh, Omniscient offers retargeting ads on all of its tiers, including the free plan. And unlike MailChimp, Omniscient natively allows users to send SMS and push notifications as part of their campaigns. Regarding um, regarding customer support, uh, both services have uh, email support and um, what is nice about Omnisend that it has email support even on the free plan uh, in contrast to MailChimp. There is phone support as well, so this is a great thing to rely on and of course pricing. Let's compare this thing as well. So, uh, <clears throat> MailChimp actually increased its prices in early 2022, including for existing users. And MailChimp now considers unsubscribed co uh, contacts the same as active contacts, meaning if you had a list with 1000 active subscribers and 500 people who had previously unsubscribed, MailChimp would bill you as having 1500 people in your list. Considering that MailChimp's pricing is based on the number of contacts you have, this can make a significant difference to your monthly bill. MailChimp has four tiers, free, essentials, standard and uh, premium. And the monthly pricing works actually as you can see on the right side. Uh, there is a huge difference between uh, different uh, tiers. Uh, MailChimp offers a pricing calculator to let you know exactly what it would cost you and, it fe and its features do mean it can offer good value for money. And uh, um, if your business is new, then MailChimp's free plan may appeal because it's more generous than some of its competitors, but be aware of its limitations. What are those? No A-B testing, no dynamic content, no send time optimization, one audience and one automated email, limited access to email and landing page 
templates and after 30 days customer support is restricted to guides and tutorials omnisend has three uh, tiers a free standard and pro like mailchimp there is a pricing cal calculator to help you choose and the pricing tiers for both platforms can be reasonably similar depending on how many contacts uh, you have the main consideration is what features you want particularly as omnisense standard plan is like a mixture of mailchimp's essentials and standard plans if you have 10,000 contacts omnisense pro plan would be about half the cost of mailchimp's premium plan at 150 dollars versus 299 and mailchimp now charging for unsubscribed members can have a huge impact on what you will pay and the biggest difference between the two platforms is that the omnisend free plan still offers all the features and you will have professional looking templates pre-built automations audio segmentations performance reports a b testing and email support and the free plan allows you to send sms and push notifications create custom workflows and use dynamic sign up forms no restrictions and features making it an ideal plan for the new and smaller businesses so my decision is pretty obvious that i choose omnisam because it gives you the variety of features and even if you have a free plan and that's beautiful and uh, it's a super modernized version of email marketing tool that already been on the market and of course if you choose out of two yes the um the the choice is obvious the future is the choice i wish you good luck with all your work and all your business and i want your business to succeed and to have increased sales with automation platforms and email uh, email marketing tools so pay attention to these platforms and specifically about Omnisend. It can help grow your business. I wish you good luck with this and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.